entertainment for next Saturday on LWT. Hey, do you want to see the funniest programme on television? Well, next Saturday on ITV, we're going to reply to all of you who have asked to see the classic moments of Game for a Laugh. You've written to us, and now we're replying. They're the silly stunts, the funny games. It's all there. Next Saturday, the best of Game for a Laugh. At 8, Ultra Quiz from Hollywood's Universal Studios, where the shootout for £10,000 continues. At 8.30, film action, Ryan O'Neill and Omar Sharif in Green Ice. 60 or $70 million worth, and tomorrow there'll be more. A daring and dangerous plot to raid a vault full of precious stones, part of the top entertainment for next Saturday on LWT. In a moment, the music of Michel Legrand at the Antibes Jazz Festival. Spraying deodorants can be a very hit or miss affair. The new Men and Speed Stick is the wide stick that gives you solid deodorant protection in just a few strokes. No mess. No waste. You could use up nearly one and a half cans like this before you finish one Speed Stick. Speed Stick, wide stick protection. You have a secret longing, longing. For a ready whipped topping, too thick to pour, nudge it, squeeze or flip, bird's eye super whip, buy it frozen, keep it in the fridge, now fulfill those longings. Bird's eye, make the most persuasive desserts. John Spencer now having to queue over the green ball. Mm. And what a disastrous stroke. And the referee's none too pleased either. Well, that's most peculiar. I bet he drinks Carling Black Label. Do you ask him? Uncompromising referees insist on a pint that's brewed to give a fuller flavor than any other leading lager. Carling Black Label. And now the late London news headlines. Council tenants of eight tower blocks in the East London suburb of Newham are threatening to stage a rent strike unless they're rehoused. More than 700 families who live in the blocks claim they're a fire hazard, similar to the nearby Ronan Point building which was evacuated last April. Scotland Yard have been inundated with inquiries about their investigation into the widespread theft of airline passengers' property at London's Heathrow Airport. More than 50 airport baggage loaders are to be questioned this week after a search of their lockers turned up a large quantity of allegedly stolen cash, traveller's checks and valuables. 16-day-old Holly Roffey, the baby who had a heart transplant a week ago, is showing a slight improvement in her condition, according to the latest bulletin from the National Heart Hospital in London. Her room there has been flooded with flowers, cards and telephone calls. More than 3,000 Sikhs marched through central London today in protest against Indian government treatment of their home state, the Punjab. The demonstrators, who police say were orderly and caused no arrests, marched from Hyde Park to Shepherd's Bush Green. And finally, a North London detective's been suspended from duty over allegations that he ran an illegal betting shop. The officer, who hasn't been named, is said to have been involved in a betting operation in Camden, which is now being investigated by Scotland Yard. That's the local news. Now, a little later than advertised, the Antibes Jazz Festival. <laughs>